this IKEA coat hanger needs to be installed to the wall here. And this is how the product looks like. And in this video, I'll show you how this is done sensibly. Obviously, the product has been mounted here previously and it failed repeatedly. So there are two things that are important with the mounting of this coat hanger. I'll show you both. It's not, it's not rocket science. Let's take it from the top. This is the product's name. I'm not going to pronounce it. And it's been mounted here to the wall using this hardware, plastic anchor and screw. This plastic anchor was a hole was drilled in the drywall and this plastic anchor was placed in the hole and the screw was driven into this plastic anchor spreading it apart hoping that this wouldn't pull out well that didn't work the coat hanger needs to be and this is item number one needs to be in a stud what's a stud let's take a look at a stud so on this one i marked stud locations with this green tape that kind of makes the wall look like it has measles or something studs are vertical support uh, supporting members in the wall running vertically like so and what i marked with green tape are the screw heads i have here a small magnet it's not rocket science to find a screw head and it sticks there and it doesn't stick anywhere else very very straightforward this is the next there it just sticks there okay there it's fairly straightforward so how do this stud business uh, how does this stud business look like here is a panel for some other features of the building and here you can see the studs in it let me just take you off the mount just a sec there and it's a little dark here but you can perfectly well see a metal stud here it's 16 gauge whatever its thickness i don't know we'll call it half a millimeter how about that just to visualize it a 30 second one inch just go with that maybe a 64th whatever quarter of a millimeter then so that's a steel stud and you can see the screws that hold a sheet of drywall go through the stud repeatedly everywhere there so that's how that's how the screws hold if you put a screw through only this drywall which is only half an inch thick you can't see the edge of it because this door here uh, covers the edge of it it's half an inch thick the drywall sheet doesn't hold really anything structurally there so that's a stud so the stud layout is looking like this every 16 inches in this wall there is a stud from this point on to the edge there isn't another one probably because of this stepped end here so this is just happens to be 24 inches and there are no studs here what pulled out here from this hole is the plastic anchor the other one is still in there so the plastic anchor is fine it kind of stays in the it stays in the wall that's good but it there's a but obviously the top one came out so it's not really holding anything and so it needs to be in the stud it's going to be mounted here through that hole there and this hole here the screw that's going to be placed are not the same screws that work with the plastic anchor my screws will be slightly longer but that's not the point they have more threads on them because the thickness of the steel stud is so little i want as much as as much thread engagement as possible so with this one having fewer threads 
is gonna bite a lot less into the steel studs or hold a lot less in the steel studs these will hold better okay so coarse threads this needs a screw gun very simply and it needed a drill to pre-drill the this lower hole location and that upper one there so one critical measurement is the distance from this mounting feature here to the next one i'm going to measure it exactly center to center and or edge to edge either which way you look at life and because this is ikea stuff i'm using an ikea tape measure but more importantly this is exactly 50 centimeters like so so center of the hole there and to the center of the hole here okay 50 centimeters like so so that's exactly what's being laid out of course when it, when this is mounted it's gonna be this the screw will go through the larger hole and slide slide into this position i hope that makes sense that it's still gonna be 50 centimeters doesn't matter how you look at life so very simply what i need to do is put the two screws in here that are now in the stud and and are 50 centimeters apart all right I don't know how much the screws need to be sticking out from the wall in order for this to clip on and lock in place. We'll just we'll just try this. Yeah, how about that? It's down. It's solid. There, hang a bathrobe on it. Cool. Done, it's not coming off the wall. Thank you for watching.